What's the story about the, the Google Space Prize and Israel? Um, Google is running a, a, an international contest, uh, the Google Lunar X Prize, run through the X Prize Foundation. Um, and the, the contest is to build a spaceship with 90% private money and uh, land it on the moon and um, move it across the surface of the moon 500 meters or 500 yards and broadcast that entire event in HD video back to Earth. That's the contest. Um, I'm a member of an Israeli uh, team, of the Israeli team. It's called Space IL. IL? Space IL. Why IL? IL for Israel. That's, that's the internet extension? The internet extension, uh, extension right? Okay. And, uh, and we are currently believe that we are winning and we are going to win. Um, and I'm not going to tell you why uh, on record. Uh, because, <laughs> but you're not cheating. Uh, no, we're not cheating. Uh, okay. Google's got lawyers. Um, but, uh, but we're winning because Israel has certain uh, capabilities that uh, other space programs don't have. Wait, um, are, are you exploiting any of the government? Is it, is it, um, uh, we're, we're getting some or, help. Or I military? Mean, we're very, very limited in, in how much government help we can get by the rules of the contest. Uh -huh. But we are getting some financial help from the government. Uh -huh. um, what, uh, what uh, I mean, it's not military, but Israel has some high-tech capabilities in space that uh, nobody else has. Um, and if I say anything more, then our opponents will know uh, a lot about what we're doing. Um, <laughs> We are... When's it, is it a, a race? A race it's to space? a race. The first team to successfully pull it off it gets $20 million. Uh -huh. and, um, and, and that's a lot of money. We are all volunteers. Is it an unmanned mission? It's an unmanned mission. Uh -huh. Our entire project cost, front to back, is roughly $10 million. That is less than 10% of the next team's cost. Most teams are spending tens and hundreds of millions of dollars. We're going to do it for $10 million. We hope to completely change the way uh, the big space programs, European, NASA, Russia, um, think about space travel. Um, you can today build minuscule little things and push them into space with a lot less thrust and a lot less weight and, and, uh, and, and, and achieve tremendous things. Computers are so small. HD video cameras are so small. Um, and we think that people are thinking about this wrong and when they are launching, you know, buses with rovers into space. How long do you think one entrant will, will take to get uh, into space successfully? Right now, our schedule is um, we expect, um, I think by mid-2013, to land on the moon. We are roughly um, 18 months away from landing on the moon. We have built the engine. We have built a few of the special devices that uh, we probably will have get patents for um, that are necessary for us to succeed. We're pulling off a couple of high-tech tricks that you're going to hear about if we succeed, um, and I can't talk about until then. Um, and yeah, and we're a bunch of Israeli volunteers. There are roughly 80, 90 volunteers in the, uh, in the organization. Most of them are engineers. Um, average age is 29, and uh, we can land on the moon. Does Israel have an advantage, you think, because the moon so closely resembles a falafel ball? Yes. We know how to get falafel balls anywhere. <laughs> how to get to a falafel ball anywhere. Yes. Is, is it the goal to establish the first falafel stand on the moon? Yes, yes. But of course, you need, you need, you need Israelis to land there in order to establish, in order to buy. We're talking about making this viable, so you can't just establish a falafel stand without Israelis. So uh, the next mission is, of course, man. Uh, no, actually, one of the wonderful things about this program is that it's going to be an educational program. So, for example, um, uh, choosing the landing site is a major scientific undertaking. And what we have succeeded in doing is getting um, a, a gifted student program in Israeli high schools called Noar Shukhir Madan, um, um, science youth program um, of, of, of 15, 16 year olds in Israeli high schools who do special science courses. This year, this school year that just started, the entire year they're going to be doing a special geology unit um, whose entire purpose is choosing the landing site of our of our lander. So um, we hope to take the money. Uh, none of us are going to walk away from this with any other twenty million dollar prize money. Uh, we're Where take will the money, money go? 
and we're going to put it into science education, science especially education, especially in Israel's periphery. Um, and when you say the periphery, meaning the, um, the north, the Negev, the north, the south, um, also the social periphery, maybe. Um, and yeah, we have government buy-in. We have buy-in from major donors. Um, we've raised a third of the money um, that we need to get there. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of interest, and it's actually a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to see the Jewish people really getting into this. Where can people find out more about it? We have a website. Uh, just Google Space I-L. S-P-A-C-E-I-L. Two words. Uh, one word. One, yeah. one word, and, um, and if you want to know about the contest, go to the X Prize Foundation. Um, this is the Lunar X Prize contest. There are a few contests there, mm -hmm. uh, having to do with genetics and all kinds of other things. Yeah, and a bunch of uh, Israeli uh, volunteer 29-year-olds uh, are going to land on the moon uh, before NASA um, does, does its first landing in 35 years.